Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking in the background, that is my Code Blocks Ear Saver. Friends, I've used it for a day. I've got a couple things I'd like to share. So let's get cracking. Friends, if you're looking closely, this is the one that has the name added to it. It's a super simple skill, about three more minutes, that you could get up in the cards from the last video. I will have both of these projects up in the cards if by any chance you missed them. So the first thing I'd like to show you is that once you're done, if you built yours like me, your code may look all scrunched and nasty. A cool thing you can do is hit clean up blocks and it will immediately organize it so that you've got the band first, then the hook, and then finally your words. I'm gonna slide this over so it fits better. Notice I made this wider so we can see my band a little bit easier as well. As we look at my band, see how this edge is hanging off? One of the cool things about our code is if we change that from 58 to 56 and hit play, you can see it comes much closer to the perfect number that I was looking for. Another thing I noted in class was that a lot of kids, 180 was too large. So I'm gonna go up to this width and I'm going to expand this block and expand this block. And it lets me change that width. I'm gonna take off 20 millimeters or two centimeters by making it 160. When I hit play, it immediately shrinks all those because remember they were all based on this variable and you can see that our hooks don't land where they're supposed to. We can fix that super simply by just moving down to where we actually made the band. So remember friends, we shrunk it by 20, so I'm gonna just take away 10. Instead of negative 88, I'm gonna do negative 78. And instead of 56, I'm gonna do 46 and I'm gonna hit play. Also, if you do not need four hooks, it is super simple to just change this to three and three, and you'll make your band in a different style as well. Notice this side, we need to move 10 more out. So instead of the 46, we go back to the 56, and almost instantly, you're able to customize your band to whatever you or the students in your classroom are looking for. Lastly, friends, remember if you do make one of these, you need to export as an STL. And once again, if you're in my classroom, we always save it or we export it to the STL folder. It is on the quick access and make sure you give it a name that fits what you did. If this is version two, make sure you put a V2 so that it's easy to find. Friends, I hope that this little glimpse into how you can reuse your code by just changing some numbers and having the rest of the math adjust to fit the final design is such a slick skill to have. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.